the Stockholm Resilience Center in Sweden. This renowned professor has dedicated more than 60 years to the study of water. Her special focus is the previously underappreciated topic of invisible water. Water is water, that's why development starts. My effort is to, to make, uh, to make an, a clear understanding of water. Winner of the 2018 Blue Planet Prize, Professor Malene Falkenmark. Falkenmark was born in 1925 in Stockholm. She discovered the science stream while excelling in high school mathematics. I was better than the teacher. I could, I could solve uh, problems that he couldn't solve. She entered university and earned her master's in mathematics, physics, chemistry, and mechanics. She joined the Swedish Meteorological and Hydrological Institute, where she became involved in hydrology. Hydrology is the scientific study of water circulation, such as in the seas, rivers, and lakes, underground and in the atmosphere, as well as glaciers. After 10 years of research as a hydrologist, she participated in one of UNESCO's projects addressing water resource issues. It was then that she realized the connection between poverty and water issues in Africa. I realized that we have to look at two types of water, not just the, the liquid water in, in the rivers, but we have to look on water in the soil. She began to conduct research on the water distribution in the soil in drought-prone areas and its seasonal and yearly changes. Falkenmark placed particular emphasis on water available in the root zone, which hadn't been fully recognized as a water resource. Green water, when soil fertility, this, when this has been discussed, it has only been discussed in terms of the chemical contents of the soil, but not a word about the water in the soil that makes those chemicals accessible to the roots. And the population growth opens the problem of food production. How many people can be fed by the world? And then yeah, this starts with the, with the green water. On weekends, Falkenmark enjoys spending time with her eight grandchildren in her suburban home. What can we pass on to the next generation? Her passion doesn't seem to fade. With the years, ecology continued to develop without water as involved in the idea of, of how nature works. And now we try to enter water and to, to make them aware of the fact that water is the bloodstream of the biosphere. So that is why I still continue by being 92. The water concepts uncovered by Professor Malin Falkenmark offer a breath of life for all humankind. <laughs>